Welcome to another video. Today's episode is going to be a calisthenics routine because I know some of you lot don't even care about the running stuff, but this is a routine that Alex and David put me through, which was crazy intense with a 20 kg weighted vest. So, I hope you enjoy. How is your cam, bro? Nice. That's nice. Nice. That's nice. Five, yeah. yeah. Right, cool. Then get the dips. Five dips. But five, uh, pause at the yeah, but pause at the bottom though. And go okay, two seven. seconds lower and then shoot up at the top, innit? So you come down slowly, two, then sh three, then sh three, pause explode. at the then it's yeah. Then five diamonds, same thing. Five Explode diamonds. at the top, innit? On this? On the yeah. Floor, yeah, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Explode at the top. Come down for how many seconds? No, no, yeah, just three seconds, three seconds. Then just explode at the top. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. We'll get there, bro. Three. Three. Four. Nice, though. Like you said, we've been practicing, but you ain't been practicing yeah. in a minute. Let's go. One, two, three. Come on, Four. more power. But push. Yeah, that's it, man. Eat it. So I had to mute the audio in the background because someone was playing music but basically what I'm doing for this set and this is the third one we're doing five explosive pulls so you're trying to pull as high as you can this will help you with the muscle up and if you've already got the muscle up this will help you clean up your muscle up so it's something that's useful here we're going from dips but we're exploding at the top so we come down slowly and then explode for the first and second set I had my hoodie on so it was kind of restricting me on the way up and down but then once I took it off it helped me get cleaner reps and then lastly, we go into explosive press-ups. So you're coming down for three seconds and you're just shooting back up. Down for three seconds, shooting back up. And then here we get into the main part of the exercise. So with the 20 kg weighted vest, here I'm performing 10 pull-ups and then I do a 10 second hold. With this, it's really max reps, but I didn't want to overdo it or underdo it. I know I can get 10 as I'm fairly fresh. So I've got 10 pulls and then here you get your chin above the bar or if you can't get your chin above the bar, even just your head to the bottom of the bar and hold for 10 seconds. Because the vest is so heavy, as I'm landing there, you feel a mad force just pushing you down. And then from there, I go into dips. Out of the circuit that we've done today, I found the dips the easiest. Well, when I'm fresh anyway, I always find dips quite easy. But in the third and fourth set, as I fatigue, I had to break down my dips. And here I go for 10 reps on the dips. And normally if I'm doing this with my body weight without the extra weight, I go for 20 reps. Or if I'm doing it with my 12 kg vest, I normally go for at least 15 reps. And then we go for 10 press ups. And this is the hardest part for me out of the circuit, mainly because um, my push strength isn't as strong as my pull strength, but also... It's the last thing you do so you've already fatigued yourself on the 10 pull-ups and then the 10 or 15 or 20 dips that you've done this is the last thing so this is the second set um the way my boy was holding the phone well when you upload it to youtube it cuts it well it trims it by the sides in it so the next um video i'm going to show you will be the fourth set where I'm really struggling. These ones I just about made it through, but the fourth set was mad broken down. So I'll show you that because you get to see the full picture. But here my leg was shaking mad. So I'm probably gonna use this clip for Instagram just because of the static hold. <laughs> and then obviously I'm just fatigued. They're just laughing at me, but I was fatigued. I think they've done this once or twice before. So where it's still hard for them as well, their bodies kind of hit it. Me, I've been doing like no weighted vest, just body weight workouts. So 20 kg vest for a whole circuit is quite demanding but yeah here 
dips. Did I, yeah, I think I got. I went through the whole dips, but third set I broke my dips. So after nine reps, I broke, and then on the fourth set, which I'm gonna have up as the next clip, you'll see how many times I break. But yeah, this was very challenging. I don't think I've challenged myself at calisthenics with a weighted vest in a while because the last time I wore my vest and got carried away, I strained my neck. So then I put the vest down for a minute and I've just been doing bodyweight exercises. But recently, as the weather's getting better, loads of people are coming out to the parks. So you're seeing way more people. They're bringing out all their equipment and you're just getting drawn out. So yeah, this is me doing press-ups. A lot slower than obviously the first set, but full extension and just pausing at the top giving myself that rest time that's required also anyone watching this that does want to get into additional weighted exercises i would say start with like a 5 kg once you've kind of got your body weight on lock then start with a 5 kg 20 kg is a bit extreme so you're trying to build yourself up slowly into it all right one bro two three four five Six, seven, eight. One more. One more. One more. Don't forget your hold, bro. Hold on tight. Push high as you can, bro. Before you hold. Push. Ten. Uh, nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> That's your last face is killing me, though. Three. Three. Two. One, that's it. Here I had to mute the audio because there were people playing music in the background. But I go into my dips here and this is the fourth set so I'm fatigued. I break this up quite a bit. It took me over a minute to get 10 dips done. Where I was so fatigued I had to just keep breaking it up compared to the first set where I was able to go through with the 10 dips without stopping. One thing with reps I'll say as well is always focus on quality over quantity. So where I've done those last 10 pull-ups, but the last three or four were not really full rep range. I was better off just doing five pull-ups and then going into the hold. Same thing here with dips, I try and do quality over quantity. So you're better off getting five clean full range reps than 10 where four are messy, basically. And that's what you want to focus on. So when you're fatigued like I am here, just bang out single reps instead of trying to get two free because you tend to lose form when you're fatigued. Like here, I couldn't even get one. So I take a break and then I decide, you know, I'm just going to bang out singles. So I just go for one rep at a time. So this is the last rep. This last rep was a struggle, boy. I'm going to try and do it next time I go calisthenics and I do a new routine. I'm going to try and have a face camera so you look and see the expressions I make. But this is the last part. And it's just press-ups again. Very hard, very fatigued. This is my weak point. And that's, again, because it's the last thing we do and my push strength isn't that strong compared to, like, my pulling strength. My push strength's not up there like that. These lot are a lot better than me when it comes to press-ups. So again, I break this down quite a bit. And even there, just that gives you a bit of rest time and then come back down. So for all of these reps that we're doing with the vest, as we come down, we're making sure the vest touches the actual bar before we go into our next rep. And then as we push up, we fully extend our arms. So you'll see each time I come up on a press up, I'm making sure that full extension is there like that and then back down. So here again, not being able to fully lock out. So I just give myself some rest time before going back in. So even if you get the last few reps as singles, it doesn't really matter, but try and keep the form there. So your last rep should really look like your first rep. That's what I hear a lot of the calisthenics guys say. But here you can see my reps aren't as clean as my first rep was. So that was pretty much it in terms of the workout. That's just me getting through the last rep. Last of Bit of footage is me doing some pulls with a 32 kg kettlebell. So someone brought this to the park with a belt that you can attach weight to. So I thought, let me just give this a go. So I think I've done like three proper reps. The fourth one wasn't clean. And then just done a little hold at the top underneath the bar. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in to this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope some of you can try this. Obviously, 
alter it to what's suitable for you and make sure you train safely but these are just some pictures of the new tracksuit that I bought out for let me slap these at the end of the video that's the navy blue one I was wearing the black one throughout training uh, that one's black and white and then you've got black and grey and then this is the group picture Get at me if you want one though, I don't want to catch no one wearing Gymshark when Boris reopens the gyms or it's on tops for you boy. Please step carefully if you're in Gymshark, my protein man's got on-site beef with them look. Take care.